Paloma Online Crew. I am here with my cat, Smokely, and we are going to introduce a little project that I want you to start doing a little bit of research on uh, in terms of getting you ready to learn about the Civil War. Um, there's a lot of characters that you can choose from in terms of like researching, like what these folks are known for. And what I would like for you to do is choose from this list here. These are a bunch of people that um, one in particular, two in particular, actually, that we've talked about before, um, or at least we've mentioned them in passing in a couple of assignments. Um, but I want you to understand that this event didn't just happen. There were a lot of things that built up to it, a lot of cultural movements, political movements. Um, we've gotten into the expansion of the United States here recently from the East out West. And there's a lot that we can dig into. And earlier this week, I mentioned like our knowledge of the Civil War and why it, why it started is going to really depend on who you study. If you take a US history class in the South, you're going to hear a little bit of a different story uh, than what you're hearing now from me, uh, simply because like as your teacher, like the stuff that I want you to know when it comes to this, it's definitely influenced by who I am. So to get a good foundation, of knowledge, I'm gonna give you a choice of a variety of people. And all I'm gonna do now, and what you're asked to do today is tell me who you wanna research. And I'm actually gonna give you some choice as to how you even show your research, um, either a paper, a presentation, and some of you actually like making those clips videos. Um, it's all good, <laughs> whatever you want. Um, the whole point is to let you have a little bit of choice in the matter um, in terms of who you want to learn about and how you want to show your knowledge. Um, so I'm going to share my screen just so you can get an idea about some of the characters just from this video. Um, first one, Andrew Jackson. This was a, he was a president of the United States prior to uh, the start of the Civil War, you will see here that he was essentially, he was dead before the start of the Civil War, but as president, we, we will actually dip more into that a little bit. If I had it my way, I want this class to just keep going, but I know we're running out of time and the Civil War is a, is a big one. Um, Andrew Jackson was a president that came to power uh, prior to the Civil War, but uh, his buildup to the Civil War is extremely important simply because as president, um, he didn't really support any sort of legislation that stopped the spread of slavery. Next up, John C. Calhoun. This is a guy who wanted to be president, who again uh, was not alive by the time of the Civil War, but as a political leader, he was responsible for a lot of, um, well, we'll just say policy and words that weren't necessarily great for stopping slavery. Next up, I'm not, when we get to the Civil War, because this is a U.S. history class and in the United States, the South is not a different country anymore um like i can i really want to nerd out be like well the civil war wasn't necessarily a war it was the secessionist movement but i'm not an idiot this guy jefferson davis became the president of the confederacy uh, during the civil war and you getting to know more about him and his policies are going to be very beneficial to you like you'll have Jefferson Davis and 
I'm, I'm going to focus on Abraham Lincoln, but if you would like to learn more about Jefferson Davis and this particular project, good for you. Uh, next up, John Brown. John Brown, we, well, just put simply, we've got three people that are pro-South, three people that are going to be uh, responsible for um, creating the secessionist movement that started the Confederacy, the bunch of states that left the United States and fought the Union in the Civil War. The next three people are going to be folks that are um, kind of pro-union or abolitionists, people who wanted to get rid of slavery. Uh, John Brown, um, you'll hear more about him uh, when it comes to um, bleeding Kansas. So the Kansas-Nebraska Act, we've kind of touched on that this week. Um, <laughs> it, it, he also is somebody that is quite controversial like anybody affiliated with like pro-slavery movements or pro-confederacy uh, folks John Brown is somebody that yes he was an abolitionist but his story and how he came to prominence isn't necessarily the best next up we have Harriet Tubman Harriet Tubman was a leader of, uh, of the Underground Railroad. If you are asked to do a lot of research on, on, on uh, if you do choose to do research on Harriet Tubman, she is going to be somebody that you're gonna find a lot of resources for. Um, she was a conductor on the Underground Railroad. There's a lot there. Next up, we have Harriet Beecher Stowe. Harriet Beecher Stowe is somebody you may not know of, but one of the ways that like, our country became divided was through the culture that people consumed. She wrote a book called Uncle Tom's Cabin that absolutely kicked off a lot of like anti-slavery movements it increased the abolitionist movement because um, for the first time a lot of americans who may not have owned slaves got essentially access to the world of slavery and some of the um, issues that came with it so those are just six folks like if you come in tomorrow during the uh, meeting and I'm saying tomorrow you might be watching this video today um, and you and you know of somebody else that you want to research, by all means, just let me know who you want to research and I will okay it. Um, so just as a quick review, we have three people that are anti, or we'll just call them pro-slavery folks, Andrew Jackson, John C. Calhoun, Jefferson Davis are the three pro-slavery folks that you knowing a little bit more about is going to be beneficial if you do want to research that. Next, we have John Brown, uh, Harriet Tubman, and Harriet Beecher Stowe. And all six of these websites are going to be posted um, on today's announcement. Your job is to choose one and begin to research one of these six people. So that is all I have for you today. If you want to start researching this and gathering articles, I don't want you to know the prompt yet. Just know you're essentially writing a biography about this particular person and how this particular person uh, contributed to the our country's history and its build up to the Civil War. And that is, I guess I just gave the essay away. So if you did watch this entire video, awesome. Um, there you have it. Uh, that's what I want you to do. But for today, just choose one, one of the six. What, who is interesting to you? Who do you wanna know more about? And then this weekend, that's what you're up to. Making a presentation. Um, like on Google Slides or 
uh, writing an essay or doing a clips video where you get to talk over it, that sort of thing. All right, so that ends my time on this. Uh, again, I will be on the Google Meet at 9.30 if you want any more direction on this assignment. I'd love to like just sit down and chat with you about helping you out on this. So let me know how I can be of assistance. Have a wonderful day and let's begin to lay the real groundwork and foundation of us and in, in terms of getting to know the Civil War, which is essentially the capstone of this particular class. So see ya.